One of the key benefits of this house is the open plan living, with bedroom on the side and the kitchen in the middle. The breeze comes all the way through the house and out to the deck, which is your main entertaining area. But while we're also inside here, you see you've got your informal dining, you've got a little lounge area there, TV, and it opens up to this big, beautiful deck. The deck is really the feature of houses. As you can see from the size of that table, that's an eight-seater table and there's still plenty of space. So this is where you spend most of your time, out looking across the Gon Channel to the distant Cumberland mountain range from Espiritu Santo. And this house as well, it's all still frame. So you don't have to worry about cyclones and things like that. It's a very solid building that stood up through everything and it's in good repair actually. With these beautiful gardens off every day. As you can see, the block slopes down towards the salt water and you get a beautiful breeze coming through. The back of the block, you get a southeasterly breeze coming through and across the mountains there is where the cool wind comes from. The current owners had the idea with this block because it's got a 40 meter frontage that you could actually build two um, Airbnb villas down the front there, one bedroom and a two bedroom. Um, and the owners here have had great success in renting out their one bedroom villa, which we'll show you later on in the video. Um, it's quite successful with operation here, so you get a house and an income. For me, I like cooking, so I love this little kitchen. And especially the fact that while you're cooking, you can still be part of the conversation. And even the people out on the deck, you can see and be involved instead of being stuck in the way, slaving while you're cooking. But as you can see, it opens up beautifully. It's got everything one would need. And it's just beautiful with a big open pantry down the back here. Just a shed off there at the back. And you've got the main house just in behind. In here, which is really important in the islands, is you have a really good solid little um, concrete generator shed, which helps with the sound and things like that. So you'd have your solar and all that in there, so that when you have storms, it's like a little bunker and you've got no dramas. And when everyone else has doesn't have power, you do. And that leads out to your driveway out the back there, which goes out to the public road on our own double bay garage. Um, it's got pretty much everything you can need for timber work and welding and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a good size, and on an island, you do need a workshop. It is great help. And back in there is a little area which is getting turned into a staff quarters. It would be quite nice looking at the garden out the back there. You do need staff quarters to have your house covered in